Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and I am keeping it down a little bit because I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Now it's 5.30 now, but I woke up so early is, and that's because a lot of times when you start seeing bull runs, not just I will be waking up early, but you will be waking up early because it gets kind of exciting. You'll be rolling over in the middle of the night and checking prices and it's just you know, just gets a lot more exciting, and so it happens. I'm I'm having to keep my voice down a little bit because I have kids that are asleep, so I don't want to wake them up. But let's start off with this um, coin market cap. It's a good place to start. And here, here's what's interesting. And I'm going to uh, go down to XRP here. We're at about 31 cents. Uh, to my understanding is that XRP had gotten up as high as about 33 cents or so last night. It came down not by itself, but with the entire market. The, the total market cap had gotten up as high as 300 and something billion. billion. I think 304 or 305 billion in the total market. But what we're looking at now looks like a pretty healthy pullback. Now, let's move on. I wanted to show you um, some of the results of the, of the little run we had yesterday. Um, and this is very common, too. For those of you that are new to this, you, you have to understand that you you will start to see sites go down and things like this as as these uh, bull runs happen. Here's one example. Yesterday, Fiat Leak, which is one of the sites that we watch prices on, site alert, the site is wobbling and staggering under the combined weight of many, many thousands of XRP fanatics watching a technical breakout. We're working on it. But keep trying. You can't break the site any more than you already are. <laughs> and then they, um, I'm not sure what the the adam, uh, sys admins, okay, just presented an appalling temper about the uh, call to action in this tweet. <laughs> um, but anyway, these guys are very smart to add XRP into this uh, tweet because they they know how ferocious the XRP community is. So that's good to see. Um, XRP Honey Bear. Now, I wanted to give you a disclaimer here. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm not a chart guy, but there's there's a handful of people that do uh, trade and, and follow charts that I'll show every once in a while. The Joker is one of them. This is the Joker's tweet from today, actually. In January 16th, wave three target given, and he's talking about XRP. 33 cents. Good job, XRP. It went uh, 0.005 further. Now in wave four, it indicates a buying opportunity. Wave five will send XRP to 40 to 50 cents. Well done, Joker. Thanks for following. And he's showing you his tweet from January 16th here. And then this is another tweet. XRP target three is almost here. Target uh, Wave four is a good chance to add in this run up. Then fasten your seatbelt. To target five and if you look at his targets um his targets so he's showing us going up to 33 cents and then he says we'll have a pullback um and then he says wave five takes you up to the, that 40 to 50 cent range but anyway i thought that's it those are interesting to look at every once in a while i don't focus much on the charts and that type of th thing i'm focusing more on, on the bigger picture of what ripple is doing and and how they're growing the ecosystem around XRP. Um, this is from XRP. Crypto Wolf SC Barcelona will launch a cryptocurrency for over 300 million fans worldwide in Q2 2020. The club partnered with Alex Dreyfus Sports, um, and I don't know what all this is, to launch the Barca Fan Token. SC Barcelona is the most popular soccer team in the world. Did not know that. A lot of you listening to me over in Europe, and uh, of course we know over in Europe, soccer, which they call football, um, is, I guess it's the biggest sport in the world. So this is a big, big deal. Okay. 
Um, XRP Crypto Wolf, 200,000 crypto traders now have access to the leading over-the-counter liquidity prop provider for XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Bitcoin. B2C2 provides liquidity for all of these digital assets for institutional clients. So you're going to see more and more liquidity into this system. Now, those of you that are new to XRP, this is a great article for you to see. Um, Ripple is recognized, this is from XRP Crypto Wolf as well, Ripple is recognized as the second most valuable fintech company in the U United States and earns a spot on the Forbes fintech top 10 list of Ripple's 10 uh, $10 billion valuation. And here is the article. 10 biggest fintech companies in America. Number one is Stripe. Number two, uh, number two is Ripple. Facilitates international payments, including uh, with a cryptocurrency created by its founders. XRP is for 300 institutional clients, including Standard Chartered and Santander. Uh, 2019 sold 500 million XRP. Um, Co-founders Chris Larson, Jed McHale of Arthur Brito, CEO Brad Garlinghouse, 49. 49. So um, my prediction is not only that you will see this as a large fintech company, but you're going to see it as one of the largest companies in the history of the world. Write it down. Michelle Vandenberg um, sent me several things. The first is this, Binance US. Um, now, for those of you that don't know it, and those of you that are new, if you're in the United States, there are two totally legit cryptocurrency trading platforms that I would recommend. Uh, Binance US, which is in the description of all my videos, you can get, there's a link where you can go and open an account. And I think they'll give you 15 bucks to open it when you open an account to trade with. Um, or once you're verified, I think it is. But these guys, just so you know, the CEO of Binance.us left Ripple. Okay, and there's one other exchange, which is Coinbase. Everybody knows Coinbase. You can also open an account with Coinbase in the description of all my videos. But this right here tells you everything. Access XRP, the future of banking remittance services on Binance.us. Trade XRP USD and more with Binance.us. Um, and then he sent me this. Now, this is some. This, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, and you all need to very, be paying very close attention to this. It's a big deal. Um, Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary of the United States, significant new requirements on crypto. You will see a lot of work coming out very quickly. Listen to what he says. And specifically on cryptocurrencies, uh, we are spending a lot of time on this on both an interagency basis and with the regulators. We're about to roll out some significant new requirements at FinCEN. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, technology moves forward, but on the other hand, we want to make sure that cryptocurrencies aren't used for the equivalent of old Swiss secret number bank accounts. So we share your concern, and you'll be seeing a lot of work coming out very quickly. Well, thank you. Okay, so you you have been put on full notice, folks, um, and, and this is a little mu little more on that um, from XRP Crypto Wolf. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told Congress that FinCEN is set to release new requirements. Uh, Mnuchin said, we think tech can be used to reduce payment processing quite considerably, particularly small dollar payments cross-border. Two things to get out of this. The first thing is that, look, these guys, I don't care what country you're in, these guys are starting to get serious and they're going to control, the, the, uh, just reading between the lines here, they're going to control the on-ramps and the exit ramps. And if you don't have your digital assets, if, if you don't have an account with, with a KYC compliant firm in your country, in my country, I consider that to be Coinbase and probably Binance.us. I can't speak for the other countries, but you know, you can find out which ones are the ones. If I was in, say, Europe, I would probably say that Bitstamp would be one of the ones I would look at. Um, in Canada, I would probably look at Coinfield. Um, but but you got to make sure that they are compliant for your country because at some point they're going to turn a switch. And when they do, you're going to have a really hard time. When it comes to time to cash out of this stuff. The second thing you need to get out of this is this right here. Mnuchin and these guys 
If you think that Ripple and XRP is not somewhere in the mix of what he's talking about here, <laughs> then just uh, maybe it's time for my son to draw another picture for everyone. Okay, ticket attorney at Fix Tickets Vegas. Um, he sent me this. <laughs> This is just yet another example of this. I call them like the the new young CEO who think that it's it's um, okay to put their ideology about cryptocurrencies ahead of pleasing their customers. So here's a CEO of a company. This guy, ought, I mean, how embarrassing and and just illogical and crazy it is to say something like this think about this this guy has a probably has a large portion of the customers on his platform that are xrp holders those people believe in xrp and he's and he's coming out and just literally crapping all over their their investment and what they believe um see ripple the shorts pro tip the buy and sell buttons are both equally equally profitable regardless of whether or not you are trading a turd so he's calling xrp a turd so he's just made a, pissed off half of his customers that, that are i mean you can't make this stuff up I'm, when i was growing up the customer was always right now these these guys that just i mean here's a ceo who just who does not understand how to con how to be a CEO just flat doesn't understand it and is talking down a lot of his customers and what they believe in craziest thing I've ever seen I've never seen anything like this in my life okay David the priest um, sent me this from Coinbase Pro and I'm going to tell you right up front I'm not I would never do this and I, I wouldn't recommend it Starting today, Coinbase Pro customers in 23 U.S. states can access up to three times leverage on USD quoted books. Trading crypto on margin or leverage can amplify the impact of your trades by allowing you to borrow additional funds. I'll just say it outright, folks. Don't do it. The digital asset investor told you not to do it. This is a quick way to lose a lot of money. Okay. Um, XRP Bart, don't get greedy is the lesson there. XRP Bart sent me this. Um, this was from Ripple tomorrow. They tweeted this out yesterday, so it's today at 10.30 a.m. And that's probably Pacific time because Ripple's in San Francisco. And so is Joel Katz, David Schwartz. Uh, Joel Katz, who is David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, joins Dev Week 2020 to discuss how all developers not just specific to blockchain can build payments into their apps and enable a future of easy transactions between anyone anywhere using any currency this guy anytime he speaks it's always good to listen so go and listen to that okay um nada i guess is how you would say that sent me this this was funny bank xrp sent this out moneygram offers ceo of coinbase a promo code to try moneygram service as he was having problems with PayPal and Square with the banking system. Come on, U.S., it's 2020, fix your outdated uh, system. Now, there's a lot of history here. Many of, of you are, were around when Brian Armstrong, he took forever to add XRP to the platform. And I don't, to my knowledge, they don't use XRP for um, their payments or, you know, moving money or anything as of now. Maybe they do. But... I saw this as MoneyGram saying, hey, Brian, we're using XRP. Um, we can get all this done. <laughs> and maybe also taking a shot at the PayPals of the world, talking about how efficient that they are now. MoneyGram literally, with Ripple being an investor and using on-demand liquidity, has gone to a fledgling company, I think that's the right word, um, to not only the stock price going up, but now... They're almost getting confident, if not cocky, in what they're doing. And why wouldn't they? Okay, X, at X Lighting the Way sent me this. And I just wanted to mention this to many of you out there. Um, in the past, I had mentioned Hedera Hashgraph. And the, the Hedera Hashgraph, when it, ca when it came out, it, the price had tanked initially. But my whole premise for talking about Hedera Hashgraph as a possible investment um, was, was that this was the first non-blockchain it's hash graph technology it was the first non-blockchain -block technology and 
you know, at first when it came out, it, it didn't do well and all that type thing, but we were in a, right in the middle of a bear market. Well, a, a couple of days ago, Google, this is uh, what came out. Google Cloud is going beyond blockchain. Learn how we're working with Hashgraph to support the next generation of distributed ledger technology. So they're working with Hedera Hashgraph. Now, look at this. This is what happened. And I, yesterday I tweeted this out. This is not your father's stock market. It's the first new asset class since the 1600s. Hedera Hashgraph, their, their digital assets called HBARs, had gone up, I believe at times, as much as 200% in a 24-hour period. I think it was around that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, to, when I tweeted this, there was a reply to this tweet, and I had missed this, didn't know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this guy a shout out now. A digital asset investor, we got granted the official kindergartner of the digital asset investor channel, but never got the shout out on a vid. Was right before swell and got lost in the shuffle. Connor, this is his son Connor and I, would love it if you could announce that. This little boy and I are XRP one percenters. <laughs> well, good for you guys. And Connor, I'm going to let you know right now that you are the official kindergartner of the Digital Asset Investor channel. And I'm sorry if I forgot to shout you out before. I just, a lot of times I get flooded with things. I'm the Digital Asset Investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Connor is a one percenter and he's the official kindergartner of the Digital Asset Investor channel. Thank you for listening.